Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, join the family and get excited because today is a very highly requested and late, I'm sorry, it's very late. It's a review and testing the new Huda Beauty Demi Matte Liquid Lipsticks. So I'm really excited about this because obviously you guys know I do loads of lip tutorials on Instagram. Lots of you may have found me through my lip tutorials, being known as the lip girl. I love doing those. If you've been following me for a while, you'll also know I am in love with Huda Beauty's liquid lipsticks, the matte ones. They are just like, honestly the formula is near on unbeatable for me. It's just really nice, thin but long lasting and so pigmented. They don't dry up or go crusty. I just have been such a fan since she launched them. So I have high expectations for the Demi Matte liquid lipstick collection. Let me pull out the collection because, oh! So here we have Huda's many characters. Let's open it up and see what is inside. Wow! Oh my goodness, I need to move back for this. So this shade range does not disappoint. So what I'm going to do is take one of the liquid lipsticks and test it out and talk about it and my first impressions of the formula and how it feels and how it wears but then I'm going to do my traditional lip tutorial style swatches um, with all the shades so you can see what they all look like um, and I actually will swatch them on my arm as well. Anyway, I love the packaging. I love that she's gone for a glossy tube with this. If you have a look at this, it's a beautiful like clear glass, which is really nice. And it says Demi Matte, but I'm expecting this to be shiny. I think you can um, make them a little bit more matte by blotting um, them down with a tissue. I saw her do that on her stories. But yeah, what I will do is try it out. So this first shade that I'm going to try is Game Changer. That's the name of it. I love that name. Oh, it doesn't smell as strongly like scented as her matte liquid lipsticks, but it still smells quite nice. Her first liquid lipstick smelt like vanilla cupcakes. She's got a little bit of a different applicator. It's got more of like a dip in the um, spongy applicator <laughs> bit in the nib. So Maybe this will help with precision. Okay, so let's try Game Changer first. It looks like a beautiful, like, corally pink. But let's see as I apply it. I'm testing this out mostly for the formula for the first one. This is obviously the first time I've tried the formula. So I'm really excited. Ooh. Wow. It's quite thick, but in a good way. It's like buttery. It feels like more of a cream as I'm applying it. And it is so pigmented. Oh my goodness. As I'm going like over the same spot, it's not like dragging the product off. Do you know what this feels like? Oh, it's got a bit of menthol in it as well. I can like feel it. What menthol does is kind of like add a little bit of like a tingling sensation to your lips, which stimulates like blood flow, which makes them plump up. This isn't gonna plump them like loads, but it might just make the most subtle difference. Oh. I like that this um, particular colour makes my teeth look quite white. Ding! <laughs> Let me show you this more close up. This is almost like an actual traditional satin buttery lipstick melted down into a liquid lipstick version. Mmm! I don't get the build up around my lip either, you know, like with some liquid lipsticks or lipsticks or lip glosses, you get like a split there. And it's actually really nice, it doesn't congeal, it's just really buttery and smooth. Well, first impressions, I am definitely impressed. I feel like it would be quite long lasting as well. You don't even need a lip liner with it. But I am just really excited about this, I can't wait to try all the shades. What I'm going to do now is lip tutorials, swatching all the shades, and then come back to you at the end and tell you what shades are my favourite, potentially what shades I would use together swatch them next to each other and let you know my final verdict. My question is like how do they blend together when they do ombre and also what's the lasting power? What I might do is wear this lipstick for I don't know say six hours and come back to you and let you know how it's worn like over dinner, having drinks and everything like that. So I'll definitely try and include that in this video um, because I am skeptical about how long this will last for but yeah let's try the rest of the shades. Lost a piece 
of myself on the way I guess no one ever noticed Felt so alone in a crowd full of friends And they still don't even know this I've been trying to find a way to let you know That I've been trying to get to you You got to Sorry to interrupt there. <laughs> this is definitely not a vibe on me. I don't like it. It's the shade um, Lady Boss and I don't know. It just isn't the berry that I was hoping it would be. I'm not really a fan of this kind of purpley dark berry shade on me anyway really. But it's too like mauve. I wanted it to be a little bit more zingy. But either way, not really a huge fan of it. The darker shade definitely doesn't apply as nicely as... The lighter ones like the nude shades but yeah I thought I'd check in and let you know my thoughts on that because the others have been absolutely amazing so far so yeah let's carry on there's some energy inside me I have come back time and again it's my devil in the deep you've been beaten down can't hear the sound of Okay, wow, I absolutely love this. I remember her just saying that this was um, one of her favorite nudes in the whole collection and I definitely, definitely agree with her. I think it's so nice. I really feel like this nude would actually suit pretty much any skin tone. I can't wait to use this like as an everyday nude and also to ombre. Maybe I'll use, the only thing I will say so far is that this collection has not got a light enough nude in it. And there's quite a few nudes and they are almost like, they're similar. This one is definitely my favourite so far. I've got a couple more to go, but there's definitely not a light enough nude. I'll show you the swatches and comparisons, but actually, whilst we're here, let's um, put a little bit of feminist in the middle to ombre. Um, yeah, it's just not quite light enough. It looks lighter in the packaging. It adds a little bit of a peachy tone to the middle of the lip but um, I just wish it was a little bit lighter. But yeah, I still love this combination. I think it's beautiful. Love it.
So that was all of the Demi Matte Liquid Lipsticks swatched. This is Shiro and I have to say that I think this is one of my favourites as well. Obviously you guys know that I am obsessed with nudes. I have to say the shade range is beautiful. The nudes are my favourite part. Um, the darker shades I don't like as much. Obviously I don't really wear darker shades anyway. But then again, I didn't really feel like they applied so like seamlessly. But that's just my opinion. Um, let me know what you think. What's your favourite colour? I have to say that Shiro Day Slayer, and I, I actually loved Revolutionaire and Provocateur. They're like the mauve nudes, like almost purpley, mauve, mauve, however you say it. Also, a little tip, you kind of get just a nice flush of colour of each shade. If you apply really thinly, you can spread it out with a, another lip brush or your finger, but um, if you apply quite generously, it looks like a heavy lacquer or lip gloss. That's the kind of look I like. But um, if you wanted something just like, I don't know, just like a just bitten lip, you could just put a little bit on and rub it in like a balm and that would definitely work and give your lips like a little bit of a plumpness because of the menthol and a flush of colour in whatever shade you choose. But generally, I, I love this whole range. I think that Huda has definitely slayed it with this range. I do need to test out how long wearing it is because that's very important to me. However, I love topping up lipstick anyway because I enjoy doing it. So for me, something that lasts for a long time is important when I'm performing, for instance, because I can't top up whilst I'm performing or eating, having dinner. But um, as long as it lasts for a good few hours, I'll be happy. I'm just hoping that it doesn't like start transferring everywhere, but we shall see. I will let you know. I'm gonna come back to you in about six hours after I've um, run a few errands, had dinner, and um, just let the lipstick kind of sit on my face without actually topping up. Also, I just wanted to show you all of them swatched next to each other. So you can see this is from the first shade, Game Changer, Revolutionaire, Boy Collector, Mogul, Shaker, Lady Boss, which is the very one that I didn't really like very much, Feminist, Gorgeous, Provocateur, Bals, and then Catwalk Killer, Day Slayer, Bonnie, Shiro, and Passionista. <laughs> this is like the lightest nude. I just feel like all the nudes are pretty similar, to be honest. You can see a little bit of a different undertone in them when swatched next to each other, but in general, I feel like they're not um, contrasted enough. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I thought I'd show them all swatched together. Hopefully that was clear enough. Okay, so I'm back. It's been about five hours. I've done all sorts. I've eaten. I've been drinking my bottle of water. And I have to say, I cannot complain. This formula is actually beautiful. I mean, I'm going to zoom you in and show you. It's kind of got a little bit like tiny tiny bit smudged but considering I've not topped it up at all I'm so impressed let me zoom you in I mean where I've been kind of smacking my lips together it has seeped over the edge a little bit more than what I would have liked but the longevity of this definitely has my approval so congratulations Huda Beauty thank you so much for another amazing product I can't wait to do a few more Instagram tutorials using these products and I normally like pair different products together so follow me on Instagram at CC Clark Beauty for lots more mini tutorials and selfies <laughs> but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if this review really helped you please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I can't wait to see you on my next one <laughs> love you lots beauties Mwah. bye